Hey guys, Dan here from danstube.tv and today we're comparing the Pokemon Go Plus and the Apple Watch with the Pokemon Go support. I will have the links in the description below to check out the Apple Watch and the Pokemon Go Plus, but in terms of price, the Apple Watch is sitting at about $270 for the Apple Watch Series 1, and the Pokemon Go Plus is sitting at about $50. So you've got to remember there's a massive price leap there, and you also have to remember that the Pokemon Go Plus was built in-house, so that means that they're going to have more features, it was created by Nintendo and Niantic, so that means that the support's going to be there, the updates are going to be more frequent, and the fact that the Apple Watch support is a third party support you know that you're not going to get as many features so I'll say that straight away. I will say that the Pokemon Go Plus at its initial launch did have some issues and it took them a period of time for them to iron everything out and get it to a point that people are relatively happy with. Now I say relatively happy because there is a speed cap at the moment so you can't get Pokestops when you're going over 40 kilometers an hour which is frustrating for people taking public transport or people who are genuine passengers. Now I don't know when they're going to change this or whether they are going to change this um, but it seems like it's a thing set across the board on the Apple Watch and the Pokemon Go Plus. I'm assuming that it's a liability thing to cover Niantic's ass just in case anything happens. But personally I think it's frustrating because we're already agreeing to being passengers so why can't we use the Pokemon Go Plus? My initial experience with Pokemon on the Apple Watch wasn't fantastic. I had issues with it loading my buddy Pokemon. I had issues with it bugging out and not even tracking progress. I had issues with it loading in the eggs and the egg incubators. And overall Overall, the first couple of weeks weren't fantastic at all. Now I guess this is because it is a third party system and it will take a while for them to update things, it won't be as smooth as the Pokemon Go Plus and overall it's just highly recommended to check out the Pokemon Go Plus if you want a solid Pokemon utensil or accessory that will add to the experience of Pokemon Go. Now, when it comes to tracking, the Plus and the Apple Watch will track your movement, so it will track your buddy Pokemon, it will track your egg incubators, and it will ensure that all of these are updated to the application. So that's relatively decent. One thing about the Apple Watch though is it sets it up as a workout. So it actually drains the battery life and it is a little bit sluggish when you're running the application. The Pokemon Go Plus can catch Pokemon with just the basic Pokeballs and it can also pick up Pokestops as well. Now on the Apple Watch, all you can do is spin Pokestops, which isn't the most fascinating experience in the world. It's very laggy and very delayed as well. You can tell that the feed from Niantic isn't as fast as what you're getting on the Pokemon Go Plus. So again, another benefit of getting something from Niantic and Nintendo specifically, you're going to get that responsiveness, uh, you're going to get the reliability, and you're also going to get the updates. Um, so overall, on the Apple Watch, you can't catch Pokemon. You can technically get Pokestops, but it's one of those things that isn't even worthwhile. And the one button mechanic on the Pokemon Go Plus just makes everything really easy. You can get Pokestops and Pokemon while walking around, while driving. You don't have to look at the screen and it's just super easy. But obviously you don't have a screen on the Pokemon Go Plus. You just have the one button with a vibration and a color sensation that basically tells you what's going on. Now with the Apple Watch, that is one thing that I really did like about it. It has a visual representation so it can tell you your trainer level, how close you are to the next level, it will tell you how close you are to hatching eggs, and how close your buddy Pokemon is to getting a candy. So that's really nice and that's one thing that you will not get on the Pokemon Go Plus. So it just depends, if you already own an Apple Watch then definitely get it, you might as well. Um, but if you're looking to take your game a little bit further and invest a little bit more time in Pokemon Go, then definitely get the plus guys this accessory is worthwhile if you're into pokemon it is relatively expensive fifty dollars isn't cheap um, but i've had mine for months now everything's been great i haven't even changed the battery yet and overall the experience is great for me guys anyway i'd love to know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching make sure to have a splendid day and peace out